Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to avoid mistakes with the SUM function in Excel. In this video, we'll be discussing the different ways to specify the range of cells when using the SUM function and how to use it with cell references, named ranges, and the range selector tool. First, let's talk about cell references. When using the SUM function, you can specify the range of cells by using cell references. For example, let's say you have a list of values in the range of cells E6 to E8, and you want to add up those values. To do this, you would enter the formula equals sum E6, E8, in an empty cell. This tells Excel to add up the values in the range of cells E6 to E8 and return the result in the cell where the formula is entered. Next, let's talk about named ranges. A named range is a way to assign a name to a specific range of cells. This can be useful when you have a large spreadsheet and you want to be able to refer to a specific range of cells by name, rather than by cell references. To create a named range, you can select the range of cells you want to name, then go to the Formulas tab and click on the Define Name button. Once you have a named range, you can use it in the SUM function by referencing the name instead of the cell references. For example, if you named a range of cells total, you can use the formula equals sum total to add up the values in that range. Finally, let's talk about the range selector tool. The range selector tool is a small black square located at the bottom right corner of a selected cell. When you hover over the fill handle with your cursor, the cursor will change to a plus sign. By clicking and dragging the fill handle, you can select a range of cells. This is useful when you want to quickly select a large range of cells, such as when you want to apply a formula or formatting to a group of cells. Once you have selected the range of cells, you can enter the sum function in the formula bar and press enter to get the sum of the values in the selected range. In conclusion, by using the sum function with cell references, named ranges, and range selector tool, you can improve your efficiency and accuracy when working with large data sets in Excel. Make sure to specify the correct range of cells and use the right method that suits your needs. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this tutorial helpful.